All right, you guys, so I showed off Rogue earlier. This video is for Gamora. Another good piece. Oh, and by the way, this is Gregatron. This is a resin statue from Diamond Select. They make really good pieces, really good statues. As far as this one goes, it's like, where do I begin? You got the hair flow, you got the blaster, you got the good suit, you got the physique. I mean, the base is pretty cool. It looks like she's on a different planet somewhere. Let's slow her down real quick, shall we? I mean, the hair. Look at this hair flow. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, she's freaking built. The calves, the glutes. You guys know I'm into fitness. But she's on top of things. She is on top of it. Let's get a look at the blaster. Yeah. This thing looks pretty deadly. I like how she has it shaped in her hands. Like she's no stranger to combat. No stranger at all. I would say my favorite thing about this piece would probably be the suit itself. Looks like some type of space suit. Some suit that allows her to be on different planets and whatnot. I mean, her face looks good. Let me turn it back some. The face looks good. If it wasn't the outfit, the hair would be my favorite. But definitely the outfit. The red lines look good. The red lines kind of match the red lipstick. There's not too much going on with the face as far as details, but the paint job is good. The base, again, looks like she's on some type of rocky planet. Pretty cool stuff. But the way she has that blaster in her hand, looks like she's hunting somebody. Because she was kind of a bounty hunter, at least in the movies. But yeah... I didn't give Rogue a score. Rogue is probably a 10 out of 10. This one, uh, it's hard to say. These resin pieces are so good because they do exactly what they're set out to do. Like not every piece is gonna be super crazy as far as posing and all that, but in my opinion, this is simple. It's straight to the point. It's sharp. It's pretty vivid. And it really captures her look. At least in certain comics. Like, if they wanted this to look a certain way to match the comics. Or a comic. A specific comic. They did a dang good job. Like I said, she's kind of shapely. Got the small waist. Oh, yeah. But she definitely looks like a warrior. Let me stress that. She definitely looks like a fighter. Let me rewind real quick. I like the design on her back. That exosuit, or whatever you want to call it, it really makes it look like she means business. She's one woman I probably wouldn't want to mess with. The blaster alone, I like how it's got the, the scope. That's cool. I mean, the blaster... Looks pretty deadly. Pretty deadly stuff. Let's get that real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the good.
good knee pads. This is a good piece. All these pieces are pretty good. Uh, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Just because her face doesn't have much detail. Like the suit looks very detailed. Like under the shoulder. Things like that. The gun looks pretty detailed. Whereas the face looks kind of dry you could say but still the hair is on fire let me know what you guys think this is Gamora alright peace